Some scientist sees something fall from the sky and smash into his observatory. Yuki is okay, but at the same time, a masked figure orders his henchmen to retrieve every fragment of what has crashed to Earth. Meanwhile, Jenga and Kiyoya have renewed their rivalry and are battling on an island off the coast. It is a heated battle, and their bays clash and clash again as neither blader will yield an inch. The bays eventually collide so hard that the resulting explosion knocks both Kiyoya and Jenga down. While the friends rush to help them, back in the city, Yuki races to find Jenga and tell him what he has seen. Unfortunately, the henchman from earlier mysteriously appears and sets his sights on stopping Yuki. I have to find Mr. Jenga. Now! The WBBA headquarters is close. <laughs> You're not going there, kid. Uh, uh, ah! Yo! Who are you? Sorry, boy. But your journey ends here, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> I said, who are you? What do you want with me? Long story. Big links! Mercury and Nubius! Man, he's strong! Anubias! Hmm, I always run. Uh, 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 uh. Meow! <laughs> Too bad you lose. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I have to tell Mr. Jenga what I know, and I gotta do it right now! Uh. Run from me forever, my little friend. Do not Pegasus! Go, Sagittario! Don't give up, Sagittario! Wrong, Yon! Yeah! Go, Dark Ball! I still can't believe something like that happened. Yes, a bay changing its form all by itself? Is something like that even actually possible? I know it may be hard for you two to believe, but I saw it with my own two eyes. But the fact is, new Pegasus and Leon are really battling down there right now. <sighs> all right then, have you been able to figure anything out about them? The thing that both these bays have in common is that the fusion wheel has been separated into a core and a frame. Rearranging their positions makes changing modes possible. By attaching the fusion wheel's frame upside down, Leon is now able to switch from its standard defense mode into counter mode. The reason Leon didn't lose to Pegasus in terms of power after transformed is because of one thing. Counter mode is the only explanation. So that makes Leon an attack type. Tear him apart, Leon! In Pegasus's case, it's different. The fusion wheel has evolved into three layers. By sliding the fusion wheel, it should be able to change into various modes. Did you say three layers? What an incredible bay it is! Yes, sir, but the new Pegasus has an even more unique feature. <sighs> what would you look at that? The great Pegasus is running low in stamina! Let go, Sagittario! Flame Claw! Uh, huh? That performance tip! When its spin power drops, the semi-flat performance tip is retracted, and when the rubber part comes into contact with the stadium, it kicks against the stadium with the rubber to gain another burst of spin power! That's amazing! Yes! That's all well and good, I guess. But why do you think Leon and Pegasus transformed like that in the first place? Hmm... Whoa! Whoa. Hey! How much 
much longer are you planning on subjecting me to these test battles? Getting dragged in here by you people is messing with my mojo! Hey, we're doing our best. You and Jenga may just have been bay battling the other day, but you two turned Misty Island into a mess. Don't you think you two have a responsibility to help with the investigation into what caused the damage to happen? <sighs> Kiyoya, before Leon transformed, did you notice anything strange or unusual happening? Even something that seemed like nothing. If you can think of anything, share it with us. Huh? How should I know? Now that you mention it... Do you remember something? Uh, sort of. I mean, I'm not really sure if it's important, but, uh... Mm. Anything could be important. Tell us what happened. I think it was the night before last. Yeah, I'm quite sure. Um, we were in Wolf Canyon, so Kyoya could train for his battle with Jenga. Go, Leo! Stop him now! Dark Ball! That was a pretty nice move, Kyoya pal! <laughs> Even Jenga doesn't stand a chance against you! Hear me! <sighs> what is that thing? Yikes! It was over in an instant! And it was so strange! I thought that maybe I just dreamed it! You know what I mean? It was just so weird! A light that fell from the sky? The night before last! Could it be the same thing I saw? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah! Pegasus 2? That can't be just a coincidence, can it? I don't think so. <sighs> It makes no difference anyway. Jenga and I still haven't settled things. If you aren't gonna let me battle Jenga, then there's no reason for me to stay here any longer. <sighs> I'm out of here. Hey, wait! I've gotta talk to you! Kyoya! 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 Wait for Benkei! What does this all mean, Director? A light that fell from the sky, they say. I don't care how it happened. My Leon has been reborn as the strongest Bay ever. Yes, Leon has obtained new fangs to become Fang Leon. Once I polish these fangs, Jingo won't even be a challenge. We can do this, Fang Leon. Huh? Too bad, little fella. Unfortunately for you, I'm as persistent as a cat. Uh, bully. I have no personal grudge against you, you know. It's my job. Don't think badly of me. Thanks. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Hmm? I think I know who you are. Your name is Kiyoya, isn't it? Please, help me. You want to fight me? This has nothing to do with me. What? You're a blader, are you not? So you should take care of this bay battle yourself. Uh, come on! Meow! I'm glad he turned out to be a sensible guy. So, prepare yourself. Uh. Are you okay? <gasps> what a punk that guy is! What's your problem? The battle was already over! There's no need to go that far, is there? <gasps> it's you, your Jenga. I knew you were Mr. Jenga. Uh -oh. What a great bay that is. <laughs> this has become too annoying. Adios! Whoa! He disappeared! Who was that guy anyway? You've had a tough time. Are you all right? Thank goodness. I knew you would turn out to be a legendary blader, Mr. Jenga. 
Huh? Legendary blader? I beg you, please lend me your strength with the star fragment. Huh? Star fragment? Yes, before it falls into the hands of Nemesis. Hurry. Uh. Ah! Hey! Come on! Wake up, kid! Wake up! What's your name, son? Yuki Misusawa. Yuki. Strong name. Well, I haven't seen you around here before. Where did you come from, huh? And what's all this about Jingle lending you his strength? Yeah, and what is a legendary blader? Uh, um, well, you see... Hey, just relax. He can't answer your questions if you ask them all at once, you guys. Right. right. You're right, Dad. Sorry. Let's start at the beginning. So, Yuki, how do you know about the Star Fragment in the first place? Well, long, long ago, a star fell from the sky. Huh? 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 Through the ages, the tops born from that star fragment changed shape and evolved into the Beyblades of today. That's a legend passed down in Coma Village. How do you know about it? I was brought up hearing this story from my grandfather ever since I was a little boy. From your grandfather? So then, your grandfather's hometown must have been Coma Village. Grandfather often brought me to a hill where we could see the vast star-filled sky. And he would say this to me. When a dazzling glow lights up the earth from the heavens, a new star fragment will arrive and awaken a great power. A new star fragment, Grandpa? This is another legend told in Coma Village. Our ancestors who found the star fragment believed that after a long, long time, a new star fragment would appear from the heavens once again. When a dazzling glow lights up the earth, from the heavens. What does it really mean, anyway? The time may be nearer than we think, my boy. Will I get the chance to see the new star fragment? Yes, if that is your destiny. When would the new star fragment fall down to Earth? I became deeply interested in that very question. Based on various astronomical observations and research of ancient ruins, I put together my own timeline of the universe that calculates the time of its arrival to Earth. A timeline of the universe? That's amazing! The most important reference for making that timeline came from the ancient Mayan civilization. Did he say Mayan? It was an ancient civilization that created a system of calendars through study. Long ago, people calculated the flow of time using the movements of the stars that shone in the night sky. And as it turned out, one of their calendars predicted the arrival of my particular star. What? Strangely, in ancient civilizations all over the world, there are many examples of legends that are very similar to the one passed down in Coma Village. The calendar left behind by the Mayans can be thought of as one of those. No way! Even from that long ago? The history of Bayes goes way back, yes. I'm sure that the meteor I found is the new star fragment, and the light from the legend Grandfather told me has sparkled in the sky at last. There is just no doubt in my mind that this is what he was talking about. When a dazzling glow lights up the earth from the heavens, it was the explosion of spiral force that Jenga released in space. That was surely the light in the heavens, of course. I did what? And after that, the star fragment has really come to earth. The new star fragment has arrived? You mean it's really here? Awesome! Problem is, depending on who obtains the power held in that fragment, it definitely could be used for either good or evil. Light and dark are two sides of the same coin. Where there is light present, darkness can creep in. So a new light may very well become a tunnel of darkness. Say what? That's the continuation of the legend passed down in Coma Village. Our ancestors who left those words behind also foretold the possibility that along with the arrival of the new star fragment, an evil presence planning to make use of it would appear. It's true. Grandfather feared that the most of all. Will it be the beginning of a new era of Beyblade? 
Or will it be the sign of a new age of chaos and disorder? Hmm. Listen, Yuki. If that time ever arrives, the star fragment must not fall into the hands of evil. When the time comes, you must take the lead to ensure that their evil ambitions are crushed completely. Understand? Grandfather had probably sensed an evil presence that would go after the power of the Star Fragment. No, not just him. The Star Fragment itself must have sensed it. The Fragment sensed it? Yes, that is why, on the day that the Star Fragment arrived on Earth... It split into multiple points of light and scattered across the globe. That's amazing! The Star Fragment has a will of its own? Mm hmm One of those lights came straight to me at the observatory. <sighs> and inside that light, I heard the Star Fragment's voice. Its voice? Uh, you're saying the Star Fragment spoke to you? That is how it felt to me. Images were pushed into my mind, as if it was speaking to me. Sense evil! The Black Sun! That's Nemesis! Blade Warriors? The legendary Bladers? There is a great evil. It will harness the unknown power of the Star Fragment. It has one goal to revive the Black Sun, the god of destruction, Nemesis! The Black Sun. Did you say Nemesis? The Black Sun will turn the world into darkness. Nemesis must not be allowed to revive. Mr. Jenga, uh, please lend me your strength! Hang on a second! Nemesis? And the Star Fragment's voice, you say? Uh, you must have been dreaming or something, don't you think? Just what is this great evil anyway? I know that it's hard to believe, but the Mayan calendar even predicts the day that humanity will be destroyed. <gasps> oh yeah, I've heard of that day before myself. Isn't that day supposed to come soon? Uh-huh. The time of humanity's destruction, predicted by the Mayan calendar, is almost upon us. <gasps> I think the timing is tied to Nemesis's revival. A great evil indeed. That is why the Star Fragment split its powers into multiple pieces to entrust the Earth into the hands of the Chosen Ones, the legendary Bladers themselves. The legendary Bladers? They are the Bladers who received a piece of the unknown power from the divided Star Fragment. <laughs> there are a total of 10. The enemy is also surely trying to find those legendary Bladers. They intend to gain their power for themselves. We have to prevent that from happening at any cost necessary. <sighs> the fact is, just as I expected, Mr. Jenga is a legendary Blader. You are one of the warriors chosen by the Star Fragment. I beg you, in order to prevent the revival of Nemesis, please lend me your strength. I'm supposed to believe that I was chosen because you say so? That's it! The light! I thought it was just my imagination! At that time, the power of the new Star Fragment must have been put into Pegasus! So it happened to Leon too? Leon? That's right! Kyoya's Leon also received a light that fell from the sky! And Leon was reborn then too! So Kyoya is also one of the legendary bladers! Oh, I see. The power of the star fragment that was put into the two bays was amplified by their burning bay spirits, transforming Jenga and Kyoya's bays. Kiyoya? This has nothing to do with me. What? That guy is trouble. Okay then, that's what happened. We had that fierce battle in the Beyblade World Championship. Then that big explosion in space called you here, huh? All right, from today on, you're called Cosmic Pegasus. I'm counting on you now, Cosmic Pegasus. Hey, if the power of the Star Fragment is inside my Sagittario too, do you think that I will become a legendary blader just like Jinga? Huh? Do you? What do you think? What he said? Uh, of course <laughs> that is a possibility. 
If the star fragment responds to your heated bay spirits, then your bays will definitely transform as well. Yeah! My buddy Kyoya and I are gonna be legendary bladers together! There has already been someone who tried to stop me from telling you. This can only mean one thing, I'm afraid. The great evil that I spoke of has already begun to work towards Nemesis's revival. We must move now! You mean the meowing guy from earlier? Yes. We must find our remaining allies as soon as possible and prevent the revival of Nemesis. Okay, you can count on me, Yuki. Yay, Mr. Jenga! The revival of the God of Destruction, Nemesis, and ten legendary bladers. Looks like we have another big problem on our hands, I guess. We must find the other eight. Jenga, my son, you and the others put all of your strength into discovering the legendary bladers, wherever they are. Done! There are eight to find. Legendary bladers sound cool. Ah, oh, there you go. Aren't you a pretty girl? Now then. Huh. What shall I do next? This is gonna be so much fun.